I think I, I think it is an intelligence thing. I think that that's what it comes down to for me. And then when you make an example of a human being who is of less intelligence like that, I think that we kind of just draw a gray like a gray line for understanding that though they don't have the same intelligence as somebody else, they are still a human being. So like. So then it's not intelligence; it's species. It's species, yeah. Sure, so, but yeah, that's but don't you find it convenient? Like, don't you think that's a little convenient where you go, oh yeah, I just draw the line in my own group. Like, don't you find it a little convenient how, like, okay, everyone besides my own group, we can slit their throats, we can put them in the sandwiches, we can wear them, we can wear their skin on our back, anyone besides the group that I just so happen to be born into. You were talking about how you can make it into a joke of how many chickens you've eaten in your entire life. How <laughs> What's many the joke? Well, that's what we were trying to figure out. Like, oh, okay. Well, the, jo the joke is, it's a joke I'm trying to write is that I'd probably be... Uh, grossed out by the number of chickens I've eaten. It's a lot, probably, yeah. But probably pretty impressed with the number of cows that he, I've eaten. He eats a lot of cock. <laughs> a lot of cock. Okay. So, do you guys want to know why you should be vegan? Let's hear it. Okay. My name is Brandon. First of all, you guys want to start by introducing yourself? I'm Michael. Michael? Lewis. Lewis. All right, Michael Lewis. All right. Handshakes. Nice. All right. So, um, first off, uh, would you guys say you're against animal abuse? Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. So, uh, can you give me an example of when animal abuse would be uh, moral or would be acceptable by your values? If they're not listening. If they're not listening, okay. So, if an animal isn't listening to what you want it to do, you think you could just slap it or burn it or... You don't slap it. You know, you, you gotta teach it. Sure, but that, that's not necessarily abuse unless you're causing harm or... I mean, I think owning animals is restricting their rights either way, but... You're really just like... He's talking about getting after it. Yeah, you like kick a dog, that's yeah. fucked up. Sure, okay. So we, we, we agree animal abuse is fucked up, correct? No it's wrong. Puppies. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, do you, do you guys have any companion animals like dogs, cats? I have a couple of pets. A couple pets? I have two cats. Two cats, okay. Would you say you love your animals? Yeah. I love one of them and I hate the other one. Okay. But you don't hate them enough to kill them, right? You still take care of them and... I live with it and I still clean up its shit, so I obviously love it enough. Okay, okay. And do you guys recognize, like, in the animals that you're around, you recognize that they have their own personalities, right? They have their likes, their dislikes, they can feel pain, they can feel joy, right? They know what's going on. They know what's going on. <laughs> yes. Okay. And that's called being sentient. So right. it's essentially like them being an individual, right? Beyond just like a table or a carrot, for example. So... You don't think carrots have feelings? Uh, no. Do you think carrots have feelings? Sometimes. Like when? Well, I'm, I grow plants uh -huh. and, like... They're growing. Like, I they just are growing. a bunch of squash. And but do it's they like, have, like, brains, central nervous systems, any indication that they are, like, a, an individual experiencing the world subjectively? Beyond just responding to stimulus. The, those were a lot of big words. No. No. Okay. I'm going to answer for it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So pretty much what you see in your companion animals, um, all, almost all animals have that, right? Whether it be other mammals like cows, chickens, pigs, Oh, sorry, sorry, cows, pigs, dogs, cats, um, whether it be birds, like chickens, like crows, like hawks, whatever, um, most fish, right? So all other animals, or most other animals, share that characteristic of sentience. So if I'm assuming you would never want to abuse or kill or um, harm your animals in any way, um, especially if it's not necessary. So what's stopping you from kind of extending the moral value you give to your animals to just all animals? Well, there's an obvious food chain when it comes to how the brain works, right? So, I mean, Can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah. Obviously, the human brain functions at a higher rate than like, let's say, let's say a chicken, because mm -hmm. chickens did not build what's all around. Chickens did not build this microphone in your hand, like you have in front of me. So, the emotional sentience that a chicken has versus a human Maybe I don't know scientifically, like, I don't know yeah. enough to say that it's not as strong, but, I mean, couldn't you say that, like, though they are sentient, it's not at the same level that, like, a human or like a dog is? When dogs show emotion, they're companions. I mean, if you can, you can break a dog or a horse, right? Mm -hmm. can, you tr can you break a, a chicken or a fish in that same way? Well, so, first off, um, I think we have to clarify the term sentience and intelligence. Right? So obviously we are more intelligent than most animals in, in most ways, right? Um, but 
And just because like there within humans, there's also a spectrum of intelligence, right? I may be more intelligent than you, or you might be more intelligent than him, or he might be more intelligent than someone who's meant to challenge, or they might be more intelligent than a newborn baby, right? So there's spectrums of intelligence. But that, do you think that should give anyone the right to abuse or harm or take their rights away from another person just because they have a higher capacity to think or to feel or to whatever? Um, do, you, do you think that's right? I mean, when you use it like that, again, if we're talking about humans. Well, do you think in general might justifies right? Like, do you think that because we can, because we're smarter, because we're stronger, because we have a higher capacity, do you think that somehow justifies us harming or taking the rights away from other individuals? We're talking about people, or I guess, I guess, I don't know where my line is drawn, but I mean, I think like all human life is, you know, even, even the dumbest of individuals is worth it. Well, what's the difference? So, like, let me ask, because you brought up intelligence kind of, right? So what's the difference between, like, a six-month-old baby or someone who's, like, a mute who's severely mentally challenged and that of, like, a cow, a chicken, a pig, right? They're all sentient. They all can experience pain, experience joy, experience the world. They're just in different bodies, right? So do you really want to discriminate against individuals? They're all individuals just by the body that they're in, the species they're from? I know that a six-month-old individual will experience more than a 35-year-old cow, no matter what. Well, unless they're a mute and mental challenge. Because yeah. there are, there are, would you say that there are groups of humans or uh, um, individual humans who do have a lower intelligence and do have a, maybe a lower experience or lower quality of experience than that of a dog or of a cow or of a pig? Sure, sure. Yeah. And do you think that it would be right to take their rights away or to harm them or abuse them or put them into your sandwich just because they have a lower level of experience? No, I don't. <laughs> so then where's the symmetry breaker, right? Yeah, Why, so. you know? Do you have anything to add? Does that, does that make sense to you? I have a chinchilla and it's a rat, but it's way smarter than my dogs. So. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take that as a no. You have nothing to add. So no. essentially, veganism, um, we reject the exploitation of animals. Right. So we don't want to use them, abuse them. We don't view them as slaves for humans. Right. Because for, let me ask you this. Right. Did you do anything to become to be born a human? No. No. Obviously. Right. You, you essentially just won the lottery. Right. You were born into a, uh, a, a physical form that just so happens to be the dominant on the planet. You could have easily I, I don't know about your uh, your religious beliefs, but you could have easily been born a cow, a, a pig, a chicken, a fish, whatever. So, you know, when we're talking about like discriminating against other species of animals. The logic that, that you know, you're kind of displaying is very similar to that of um, someone who would discriminate against race or against sex or against just another group of human, right? So we're just trying to see outside of our own species of human to other species of animals when they share that characteristic of sentience, when they can experience the world just like us or similar to us. I feel like plants have the same emotions as an animal. Do you feel like, or do you I know do. that based on scientific evidence? I have, I plant plants. I feel like they also are alive, just like animals. So what are we supposed to eat? So they are alive, but do they have any um, mechanisms in which they could possibly have well, sentience? If, if you don't water them, they get sad. So they definitely have emotions. Well, but so they don't have a brain. They don't have a central nervous system. So emotions, cognitive thought, all of those things originate in a brain. Right, so they are living, I agree with you, right? And similar to like a smartphone, right? You could program a smartphone with AI to be able to respond to things, to get sad, quote unquote, but there's no actual brain, nervous system, there's no actual individual. I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Having a brain is important. I mean, important when it comes to being considered morally, yeah. Being considered edible. Yeah, cause like, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, oh, go ahead, no. Go ahead, buddy. Well, I was gonna say, I think that you, you know, you may you give me some things to think about, yeah, but, you for know, sure. well, think, what would stop you from going vegan in, in terms of from viewing animals as someone and not something, right? Viewing animals as not products for you to consume. What else am I supposed to eat? Plants. There's yeah. way more edible plants than there are edible animals. Cashews. Cashews are vegan. I got kidney stones from cashews. <laughs> then don't eat cashews. But they taste good. Okay, well, that's a choice you got to make. That's your own personal dilemma. What would stop you from going vegan? I might be too far down the rabbit hole. Really? How old are you? 26. I'm 26. When did you become vegan? I became vegan 18 on my 18th birthday. Okay. 
What actually, not, not all my 18th birthday, sorry, your, after 22. What's your favorite vegan food? That's a good question. Um, I like a good lentil soup. I love lentil soup. soup I like cereal. Good. I like cereal bean burgers. Cereal is bad, dude. They put t- tons of PFAs in them. I don't, uh, do you have any evidence for that? Because yeah. when we look at the consumption of like fortified cereals, health outcomes are great. What's a good cereal? Um, uh, uh, I eat Life, Quaker Life. Very good. High in whole grains, fiber. Do you like raisins? I do like raisins. Raisin bran without the honey is good. Raisin bran, go sorry. And what soy milk. You can drink soy milk. Soy milk has eight grams of protein per cup. What made you be? What, what made you become vegan? Um, exactly this, right? So once you kind of, I don't want to say open your eyes, but once you understand what we're doing to animals, like the you forget we we're just talking about like. It's funny. Take we were like. Talking about this earlier. We we're right now we're talking about like treating animals as products, but once you actually go into how we treat them as products, the abuse, the torture, all of the suffering, forget it, like, even just on that basis alone, I, I could not, I would feel hypocritical supporting that, right? I'm against these things. And just all of a sudden for anyone besides another human, I'm not, you know, it seemed hypocritical. So I couldn't answer the question, do I have a justification, right? What's my justification for contributing to these things when I could just eat something else or when I could just wear something else or when I could go do something else besides go to a zoo or go to an aquarium or go, you know, go to a zoo where animals are treated poorly. So um, that's why, right? I couldn't answer the question. I think, okay, so I think, and this is, uh, we, we got to get going, so I think this is the last thing I'll say, is that you asked the question, well, you made the, distinct, the uh, what's the word, distinguish, whatever. Um, you noticed the difference between uh, intelligence and sentience, mm-hmm. right? And you made the example that what I consider somebody who had disabilities, like being a mute, or you listed several as somebody who was less intelligent, so would I treat them the same way? I think that there's, I think I, I think it is an intelligence thing. I think that that's what it comes down to for me. And then when you make an example of a human being who is of less intelligence like that, I think that we kind of just draw a gray, like a gray line for understanding that though they don't have the same intelligence as somebody else, they are still a human being. So like- So then it's not intelligence, it's species. It's species, yeah. Sure, so, but, yeah, but don't you find it convenient? Like, don't you think that's a little convenient where you go, oh, yeah, I just draw the line in my own group? Like, don't you find it a little convenient how, like, okay, everyone besides my own group, we can slit their throats, we can put them in the sandwiches, we can wear, them, we can wear their skin on our back, anyone besides the group that I just so happen to be born into. Don't you find, like, don't you see how that logic is eerily similar to a white guy saying, oh, everyone else besides my own group, besides my own white group. It's, it's also it's also eerily similar to every other animal that will attack their own species that are out in the wild and that will do absolutely anything. I mean, it's... I mean, we'll attack other species. We'll attack their own species. I mean, there are animals oh, okay. out there that will attack their own species sure. to get ahead. Well, we, but we are attack for wars and stuff, but I'm... I, sure, I'm just talk, I'm, I'm talking about yeah. purely for sustenance, not that cannibalism in species oh, sure. is common, but... If it were to come down to two sharks in the ocean mm-hmm. fighting over a salmon to eat, you know what I mean? But is that what? But is that is that being is that honest, dude? Is that like an honest? Like, do you think your 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 position is so that I'm of a? It's, it's it's I think I think I'll die on the hill of survival of the fittest, and I think I will draw the line at species. But when you can survive easily without having to abuse and harm these other animals, what's the justification? Like, I understand if we're on an island and. We, a cow is the only thing I have to eat. I would still view that action as immoral, but I might do it to save myself, right? But we're not in that position. I mean, we're in Plymouth. There's, I can name you six vegan options. Uh, 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 on that street, down this street, there's plenty of food. There's Sapa Chop Market Basket. Like, when, like, to compare yourself to that of a lion who is eating any animal they can get their hands on to survive seems a little dishonest to me. Like, do you, do you think you're in that same position? No, you're probably right that there are options. I think that... Uh this would be a good thing to teach people from a lot younger age than somebody and not just you know like i said i'm too far gone i think that this is a good you know but how do we get there i mean they don't teach nutrition anyways that's true that's true so but how do we how do we get to a world where animals aren't exploited or treated poorly or viewed as products how do we get there lobby for it in congress for it to be public education okay I but mean, how do we get enough support to lobby in congress he's got to that's the best thing you said. Because <laughs> like this, this get it, get so, it, get it. We're yeah. so deep, like man, you gotta, you gotta put the work in, like. Yeah. Well, let's say so. If 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 two percent of the entire world was vegan, 
I'll tell you right now, we're not going to have any leverage, right? But if 30% of the world is vegan, right. now we're cooking with fire, right? And it takes individuals like you who are at least of sound mind, right? You guys don't think animals should be treated like shit. You guys don't think animals deserve what we're doing to them. Um, it seems like you guys are kind of stuck on, I like the taste of this. I like the foods I eat. I'm used to it, right? But it takes individuals yeah, like yeah. you who recognize that it's wrong to change because otherwise we're never going to get there. So... I probably will eat meat tonight, but keep doing this and it will be in my head the entire time I eat meat. All right, well, I will leave you this. Um, how many animals do you want to be abused, bred into existence, and exploited on your behalf going forward? Give me a number. Zero or zero, okay. But every time you purchase that, or you eat that piece of flesh, you're eating their flesh. You're literally eating, it's like you took my ass off, like you chopped a piece of my ass off, put it on the grill, right? So every time you go to the store, you purchase these products, that's what you're paying for. Right, so I'll leave you with that. I'll give you guys a card. Yeah, you have a channel? Uh, absolutely, I have a channel. I have, uh, there's peer-reviewed studies, there's resources, there's documentaries. Awesome. Link in the uh, website. Brandon? Brandon. Awesome. Brandon, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you man. Thank you guys for stopping. Well, well,